Hi guys, this is Henry295 here, and today I just have, like, a video explaining what is happening with YouTube at the current time, and, um, Nintendo, uh, and what Nintendo have to do with it, and other gaming companies as well. It's not just Nintendo, it's, like, Call of Duty gameplay occasionally get some music on that and all other companies but that doesn't matter specifically what is happening is YouTube is letting tons and tons of copyright claims be accepted and so I've heard of ca cases where like around a hundred videos have had copyright claims on them just from what's been happening with YouTube at the current time and uh, YouTube get tons of copyright claims anyway, so I think I think they just took a step back and and kind of let it go on with copyright claims instead of waiting for like the other companies to deal with them. So what Nintendo has to do with this? Well, Nintendo is kind of uh, fairly well known for their video game music, and so. Some of us can't actually post any of our gameplay because of that. Because with YouTube now putting, like, allowing copyright claims and content, content ID claims to just go so easily, it's just hard to keep uploading them without without getting copyright strikes and everything like that but people have been blaming the companies themselves for giving the copyright strikes it is not entirely their fault yes they may have um, said to YouTube we we have like music that is copyrighted and we put it into your like they put it into an archive filled with all the music, uh, video, audio, all, all that kind of stuff. They put it in an archive where it, if you post a video, YouTube assesses it and goes through the whole of that archive to see if it can find any matches for any music or visual copyrighted material. So that then means that the companies don't really have that much for say they can decide whether they want to give the user a copyright strike whether they want the video to be taken down or whether they just want the them to not earn money from it so it's not entirely the gaming company's faults this is just a quick video explaining about it you probably already know all that stuff but just put throwing that option in there for you guys to hear so it's not YouTube's fault it's not any of the gaming companies fault it well you could say it is mainly YouTube fault YouTube's fault because they are now letting tons of ID claims come in but it's People keep blaming, like, I've seen some videos of people going extreme rage on some of the companies that um, might be responsible for it. Um, but anyway, that's all for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more vids, and I will see you all next time. Peace, my Henryites.